I'm gonna preface this video right now. I had some mic issues. What's up guys, more Medic One here, and today we are gonna be working on this right here. It's a, let me just turn this thing around so I can show you. Customer dropped this off to me today. Uh, messaged him and said, well, I kinda need a carburetor. I said, it's got a bunch of parts laying here. Looks like I got a float bowl, uh, air filter, air horn with some spiders. It looks like they've already hatched. Some kind of bug living down in there. This thing is in pretty rough shape. The handle here is locked up solid from rust but I think I can get it broke free. It's, it's evident that this is this unit sits outside. It's got the Kohler engine of course, it's, I can't, there's no carburetor. So it's the Kohler command nine and a half horsepower. <clears throat> and, uh, I don't know. I've never seen what these two wires here would go to. It's got the kill switch. Where is it? The kill switch is somewhere. That may be what that is, the kill switch. Evidently on this cover here, the engine says engine and fuel. So whenever you turn the fuel off, it's got a, it comes over here. And I'm sure it has some sort of switch maybe on the carburetor itself. I have never seen one like this. So I guarantee you these two wires go to a toggle switch of some sort. There's the spark plug wire. It's unplugged. Guys, let's get this thing in the shop. Um, I want to do a couple checks before I uh, just order a $120 carburetor for this thing. See if I can't get my little trailer dolly under here. Let's see, see if I can do this one-handed. I'm gonna put the ball up in here and lock it in. As we can tell, it's loose, so I'm just gonna give it a pull forward and see if it'll unlock itself. Oh yeah. Alrighty guys, you know what? It's it's just about <laughs> to run out of daylight. <laughs> if I can make it over this little hump right here or not. <laughs> May have to put me a little old block of wood right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, cowboy's not happy. What's the matter, buddy? You want to come run? Bye. See you later. First thing I want to try to do is get this valve freed up. Put some Terra Lube on that. this thing freed up at all. Oh, there it goes. Oh, see it's working. Oh yeah. The only problem with that, see there's a seal right here. And whenever you shove that rusty rod up in there, it's gonna wear out that seal a whole lot faster. So obviously, 
is you got compression. What we're gonna do is we're gonna introduce a fuel source right in the intake right here with a little bit of carburetor cleaner. Let me see if I can get a better shot of that for you guys. No. Yeah, that'll work. Let's just give it a couple squirts and give it a yank and just see if the engine will pop off and run. off on carb spray try it again just for grins and giggles so if we got compression which we haven't checked it but if you've done this long enough you can just tell it's got compression enough to start anyway with the carb spray introduced into the intake excuse me when you pull the rope and it does not lick off you either have a spark issue or maybe a bad spark plug or the low oil shutdown on the back of the motor or inside the motor has failed so let's go ahead and check we're gonna check, I'm basically gonna pull this spark plug wire off here and we're gonna hook up a spark tester to see if we have spark. I wanna take the, I'm just gonna go ahead and take this spark plug out, make it easier to pull. And if we take a look at this spark plug, it's a little bit carbon found like it's been running rich but that's par for the course on these old coolers the plug itself don't look too bad and is this factory and turn off some of these lights maybe so it'll be easier to see the spark if we got spark let's look right here and pull the engine over and I do believe we got spark. Yeah, we got spark. Let's see what else is going on here. Turn these lights down again. I'm gonna see if we got spark on the spark plug. Watch right here on the electrodes. wait a minute let me before i get ahead of myself and and lie to you i said i didn't see any spark coming from that spark plug between the electrodes i'm gonna look at this again i'm gonna put it right here and blow it up look where this spark is coming from it's sparking but it ain't sparking right I don't see narrow spark coming through that spark plug. I'm going to get a new spark plug to stick in here. And I'm going to retest it. Let's see if we got spark now. Turn the lights down again. Oh, yeah. Gonna pull that joker one time. Now I messaged the customer and uh, asked him, "Hey, you know, do you have the old carburetor? 
because the original message said I, I'm going to drop off the the uh, log splitter and I think it's in the carburetor. The problem. Well, when I got here, as you could tell, it didn't have a carburetor inside nowhere. So honestly, the only thing wrong with this, in my professional opinion, would have been a bad spark plug. Put a spark plug in, it probably would have cranked right up. But uh, now, no carburetor anywhere. And uh, we're going to have to order one in there about 120 bucks because he says that uh, he thinks he might have left the carburetor in the old shop where he moved from. So we're going to get this spark plug put back in here and I'm going to retest the uh, my carb spray in the intake and see if it'll pop off. Hold on just a minute. Oh, we know it's going to pop off now. Huh? Now let's see if it'll lift off. Oh yeah. All right, guys. So we've got some things that I've got to do before the carburetor gets here. This gas tank. Is in well shape, buddy. I think it's an aluminum tank, and it's pretty. It's pretty bad. It's got a lot of garbage down in there. Take this sock out. And let's have a look down in there. Well, I can't do it. Let's see. Gonna have a an overhead. There we go. It's not. There we go. Not too bad. It's just got a lot of dirt in the bottom of this thing. We'll flush that out before we uh, put a new carb on it. And uh, gonna have to have some new fuel line. And that should be about it. Look at all these parts that customers took off, cleaned up, air filter housing. Air filter's been soaked in the rain, two inches of rain we got the other day. Yeah. Judging by how clean this carburetor was, minus the dirt that's just been accumulated on there, I would probably venture to say that the carburetor was not the problem. As we proved that the spark plug was bad. Alrighty, guys, that's a Diag and almost repair. I don't have the carburetor yet, but once it gets in, I'm curious to see how the kill switch works on that thing. Um, I'm hoping that it does come with one. I'm going to call my distributor buddy and give him the model and serial or spec number off this engine and order it through him. That way I get the right carburetor and I'm going to get him to look it up on his parts look up to see if where these two wires right here go. Like I mentioned earlier, they have to come here it is. It said, like I said, it says engine off and fuel. So whenever you slide the fuel valve over it's got to have a switch somewhere to turn the engine off. Alrighty, guys. Hey, if this helps you out, and I know it did on this one, give me a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button. And while you're there doing that, go ahead and click that bell so that you get all of my new videos. Y'all have a good rest of your hump day. More Medic One.